Brain 2018 is sponsored by Wisconsin Hospital Association, Wisconsin Counties Association, Wisconsin Realtors Association, Marshfield Clinic Health System, AARP Wisconsin, and Campaign 2018 partner Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. I'm uh, thrilled to have Governor Thompson uh, traveling with us today, campaigning. Uh, as he mentioned and I mentioned, one of the key things about having Tommy with is the fact that a state, in many ways, uh, was facing the same sort of choice uh, when Tommy ran and as we are today, and that is people forgetting about how things once were and how they are now. Uh, eight years ago when I ran for governor, unemployment was over 9%. Uh, as a parent, I was worried our kids weren't going to be able to find a job, let alone a career. Uh, today we've turned things around. In 2018, there are more people employed in the state than ever before, and this year we've hit record low unemployment. Uh, we're going to continue to use the same model that Tommy did successfully in the state, uh, funding two-thirds of education, making historic investments there, and still lowering property taxes, which he did when he was governor. I was proud to have voted for that when I was a member of the legislature working with him at the time. Uh, continue to do welfare reform to help build the workforce, continue to see uh, the sorts of changes and improvements that allow employers to create more jobs and more opportunity. When Tommy was governor, uh, we saw more jobs, we saw historic low unemployment. We see that again now, uh, and that's a stark contrast. My opponent, Tony Evers, wants to raise taxes. He'll raise the overall tax burden, he'll raise property taxes, he'll raise income taxes on many of our manufacturers and farmers, he'll raise the gas tax by as much as a dollar a gallon. That will cost his jobs and be a giant step backwards. And so that's why we're crisscrossing the state today, and I couldn't be more happy than to have uh, Tommy Thompson with us. Governor, I'm sure you've been made aware of the 128th uh, situation yesterday. First off, what was your reaction to that chaotic scene? And secondly, have you learned anything you might be able to share with us? Don't have an update right now. Certainly, uh, obviously, a concern for us going forward. Your two-thirds plan, are you also willing to raise revenue limits and how are you going to pay for the two-thirds? No, and that's the key difference. Tony Evers wants to raise property taxes to pay for it. Um, he wants to undo our reforms that save schools more than $3 billion. That'll take money out of the classroom, away from students. The difference between Tony Evers and I is not whether or not we're going to invest in schools. We've already made historic investments. In fact, Tony Evers said my last budget was a pro-kid budget. But his priorities align with our priorities. We are making a two-thirds commitment. The difference between the two of us is not whether or not we'll fund schools at two-thirds. We're both going to do that. The difference is he will undo the reforms we put in place that save schools billions of dollars. Uh, that's money that will have to come out of the classroom, away from students, and he'll allow property taxes to go up to pay for it. I have shown in the past, just as we will do now, just as Tommy did years ago, that we can fund schools at two-thirds and still keep property taxes down. Uh, they'll continue to be lower than they were before we started in 2010. And the, raise, we, the way we're able to do that is simple. It's the way we've done it every year I've been in government. Uh, we've been able to balance our budget through good fiscal management, uh, through keeping in place reforms that have saved schools, local and state government over $5 billion, and by keeping property taxes down uh, so that the uh, people of the state have more money to spend on the economy and, and higher wages, and so that employers have more resources to invest in their employees, which will grow the economy. It's a night and day difference. Uh, Tony Evers wants to raise taxes. That'll cost us jobs. Uh, we've actually seen Revenues went down when Jim Doyle was governor. Revenues went down on income tax when Jim Doyle was governor, even though rates went up. That's because when you raise taxes, less people are working, fewer people are working, wages go down, it's a problem. When you lower taxes, revenues actually go up. It's just the opposite of what you think. It happened when Tommy Thompson was governor. It's happened since I've been governor. That's how we'll continue to do things like funding two-thirds, funding our priorities going forward. Governor, you talk a lot about um, you know the economy is humming, things are going well, don't go backwards. Why, do you, why then do you think uh, you aren't doing better in the polls? Why then do you think voters are saying they're worried about you winning? Well, I think it's simple. When you have tens of millions of dollars of attack ads repeating lies, like the one that Tony Evers and his allies are saying about pre-existing conditions, that's just a flat-out lie. I will always cover pre-existing conditions. Pre-existing conditions are covered in the state today. They'll be covered as long as I'm governor. Um, it's personal to me, as I mentioned. My wife is a type 1 diabetic. Uh, my mother is a survivor of breast cancer. Uh, my brother has a heart condition. 
It's personal to me like it is a lot of families across the state of Wisconsin. We will always cover pre-existing conditions. But I can see why people would be afraid if they listen uh, to the millions of dollars of attack ads trying to convince people of something otherwise. This is part of a nationally orchestrated effort uh, to go after people like me and Leah Vukri and others, even though it doesn't match with the facts here in the state of Wisconsin. I believe uh, the reason why you've started to see an uptick in the polls and the Marquette, Marquette poll and will otherwise is when we cut through all that, we get to the facts, we show people what our plan is for the future, we push back on the negative attacks that are out there that are false and the outright lies that have been proposed out there. Uh, that will ultimately win this election, but we believe it's going to be close. Are you the better candidate for innovation, business, health, and science? Looking forward, future jobs, what Wisconsin needs in the future, or is it Evers? Well, the best uh, person to be involved in that are the innovators. Uh, uh, governors don't create jobs. Uh, governors create an environment that's either better or worse, positive or negative. Uh, and what we're doing, even with simple things like Foxconn, Bringing in Foxconn, Foxconn made a hundred million dollar investment that they recently announced in venture capital. Uh, Foxconn, when you think about both keeping our talent here and attracting new talent to this area, uh, think about millennials understanding that the company that makes their iPhone could have picked any place in the world to build their next LCD panel facility, and they picked right here in the great state of Wisconsin. That's pretty exciting when you think about the ability to keep our millennials here, to keep our graduates here, to attract high quality talent here. And uh, we can continue to do that, uh, but we can't do that if, if we have people trying to undo all of that. And that's what Tony Evers keeps talking about, undoing all the good things that we've done. We saw what happened when Jim Doyle tried to undo many of the positive things that Tommy Thompson did in the past. Uh, that caused our economy to fall apart. Uh, we don't want to go backwards again, back to those days, the days of double-digit tax increases, billion-dollar budget deficits, and record job loss. We want to keep moving Wisconsin forward, and that's why we're out campaigning so hard. Governor, can you, talk a little bit about, one, can you talk a little bit about why you chose to go with the uh, warning of a blue wave strategy other than the, um, as opposed to President Trump's strategy of um, being optimistic about a red wave? Well, I'm optimistic that if the voters of this state see the facts and compare where we were in 2010, where we're at today and where we're going to go going forward, uh, that we're going to win the election. But we understand that historically, anytime, the Governor Thompson and I have talked about this, anytime you have a statewide candidate up in a year when your own party has the White House, it's always tough. It was tough when Bill Clinton was in office. It was tough when George W. Bush was in office. It was tough when Barack Obama was in office. It's now tough with Donald Trump's on. That's just history. That's just a historical statement of fact. Uh, the party in the first uh, election after a presidential election, the party that's the same party in the White House always has a challenge. And so we've chosen to take that head on. And we believe, though, that in the end, this election is not going to be about the White House. It's not going to be about Washington. It's going to be about Wisconsin. It's going to be about what's good for Wisconsin, what's good for our kids and our grandkids, and ultimately we've got a plan that's much better for moving the state forward for our kids and our grandkids. Our Just asking you about how you're feeling going into the last three weeks of a pretty contentious race right now. Yeah. Uh, well, like Governor Thompson, I love campaigning. I, I love traveling the state. I do it all the time. I think Tommy Thompson and I probably compete for who's traveled the most, but we love traveling the state because i got to tell you, one of the best things about closing out a campaign is getting out on the bus, traveling the state, seeing people. People are so proud of their communities. They're proud of their families and their homes. They're proud of businesses like this and the places they work at. They're proud of their family farms and their schools and their clinics. And i got to tell you, I'm proud to be your governor. And I'm proud of the progress we've made to turn this state around, and I'd be proud to have the opportunity to do that for four more years, to finish the job, to get the job done, and then pass the baton on to a new generation of leaders with a state that's far better than the one we inherited. Ernie, thanks, thanks everybody. everybody. Appreciate Thank it. You. Campaign 2018 is sponsored by Wisconsin Hospital Association. Wisconsin Counties Association, Wisconsin Realtors Association, Marshfield Clinic Health System, AARP Wisconsin, and Campaign 2018 Partner Milwaukee Journal Sentinel.